Hey everybody, it's Susie Roos from Self Care Essentials and Evicting Cancer coming to you from my beautiful backyard. Uh, since we're going to be talking about foods a little bit and produce, I wish I could uh, kind of show you the garden, but that is around the corner on the south side of the house. Anyway, um, I feel like this is a kind of important topic, especially now when we're trying to do the best to take care of ourselves and diminish our risks of some of these lurking health challenges. I know most of us need to really shop smart these days, right? We need to stretch our dollars, and that of course includes our food dollars. Therefore, you may be thinking, well, forget organic, that is a um, not affordable um, luxury these days. I'm here to urge you to not be what I call penny wise and pound foolish because I believe you will pay far more in medical bills, prescription medications, inability to work um, due to illness or energy deficits or even lose some of the dreams you're striving for or maybe even lose loved ones. And not just like decades down the road where the thought might be, well, I just got to get through today. Can't worry about that. We have so many toxins in our um, environments between the foods, the cleaning products that most of us use, the personal care products we use, the water we drink, that these adverse effects don't take decades to show up. They show up sometimes in weeks, months, certainly in a year or so. And um, so you might have guessed, I'm not even talking about the benefit that organic foods provides by having more nutritional um, density, you know, value than non-organic foods, which has finally been shown because that question kept like, is it, does it really make a difference food quality wise? And as far as nutrient value, the answer is yes. But I'm more concerned uh, about sharing with you about what you don't get when you use organic foods, meaning you don't get all the dangerous and health robbing chemicals. Um, and because when you have all of these things, you really have a recipe for poor health and chronic illness. And even if you don't have a defined illness, it can also be the source of um, vague symptoms like brain fog, digestive unease, low energy, and poor immune function. And if you can't do everything organic, I get that. You know, we're all watching a little bit here, or a lot of it. But you can check out Environmental Workings, Working Group, or EWG, you can check out on their website and get their 2020 Dirty Dozen and Clean 15 lists. The Dirty Dozen will identifies by year, so this is 2020's version, of the most toxic produce, the ones that ideally you purchase or grow organically, okay? Whereas the Clean 15 list shows the produce that have the least amount of toxins in them if you don't get them organic. So it gives you an idea, like berries. Every year, berries show up really high on the dirty dozen list because there's so many pesticides in them. Whereas an avocado, okay, I don't even usually buy my uh, avocados organic. I'd rather put the organic bucks somewhere else. Um, let me give you a couple of examples. Like, we all know that most of us think of kale as a healthy food, right? So if you're buying just kale at your grocery store, um, non-organic, you know, you're not looking for organic, um, USDA testing shows that kale samples harbored 18 different pesticides and pesticide breakdown residues. Wow, right? And the most common one was something called DCPA, which is a possible human carcinogen. And get this, DCPA has been banned from the European Union for over 10 years, since 2009. But it shows up in your grocery store on your kale that's non-organic. 
another uh, one, uh, another residue of pesticides banned in the European Union was found on more than half the samples of potato, spinach, and lettuce that were tested in the United States. That is also a little bit sobering. And remember I just said something about berries? More than 90% of samples of strawberries, apples, cherries, spinach, and nectarines tested positive for at least two or more pesticides. So I, I really want you to think about this. Self-care, you know, this is one of my, um, sort of one of my taglines these days. You know, self-care is now become essential health care. And eating right is, you know, it's the foundation. I love my essential oils and the proper supplements. And I work with them all the time for myself and my clients and my family, but they're not magic bullets. And food is the foundational, is always the first level of health. So if you would like to get a copy of the 2020 Dirty Dozen and Clean 15 lists, either go to EWG's website or message me, and I will be really glad to send that to you. And um, I hope you're growing some of your own food this, um, this summer and enjoying gardening, enjoying the benefits of being out in nature, walking barefoot on the ground, and um, doing pesticide-free um, growing and harvesting, if that's what you're doing. All righty. Um, have a blessed evening. Uh, leave me some comments and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.